Greta Thunberg basically just saved the world. Okay, so the menace of a man and a rampant misogynist, Andrew Tate, was brought back to the internet by the decaying awful monster and now so much more far right leaning um, t CEO of Twitter. What is he? Is he a CEO? I don't know. This man owns Twitter. Elon Musk. You know him. We don't like him. If, if I want to make that clear right off the beginning, we do not like that man. But because he was so such a free speech absolutist after everyone he put him into the corner because he kept banning people that were criticizing him or being parody accounts of things and bringing up factual things about him, he brought a bunch of people who had lost their accounts back onto the platform. And um, as t we all know, Twitter is the modern hell space after Tumblr um, because it does allow perverse things and is also just full of rampant far right, like it's giving 4chan, like it's bad. <clears throat> people like Andrew Tate were allowed to recreate a platform and he was brought forth and luckily Greta Thunberg ruined that man. I have, okay, obviously, obviously, be, be serious, you know, like, you hear me, like, let's not beat around the bush. I'm not his demographic. It uh, pisses me off. It just makes me, like, so viscerally mad that to know that people do continue to give this man support and, um, just, I have seen such mixed reactions. Obviously, my side of the internet is like, oh my gosh, yay, that man's gone, good riddance, yada yada, so and so, because like, it is funny and it is great because I hate that man, and the fact that he has had such a nasty influence on men, um, even though like, you know, misogyny doesn't really need too much of a encouragement to exist or prevail because it is kind of already still what is the mainstream, I guess, like that is mostly, we live in a misogynistic like society, like we don't really need men like Andrew Tate who already are it to encourage a world that is already existing like and that like that world is misogyny is already existing and we don't need a person like that just refueling the the flame because that flame is active and people are still being affected by it daily uh, culturally socially and geographically like all around the world basically like be serious <clears throat> but because that man is so conceited and foolish and so just so confident like that that confidence that a man who is just actually wretched and terrible has he oh my god like first of all you're like 40 and like very unattractive like i'm not i don't i do like to come for people's looks let's say it. like some people are ugly people ugly comes from like the core and sometimes just physically like let's be honest that man's ugly on two accounts two charges that man's ugly <clears throat> and that's not his worst crime obviously if you actually like follow him and aren't just living in a weird bubble of like deifying this awful monster of a man, you know that he even self admittedly was like, I moved to Romania too because the laws are laxer there and I like to do what I want. And he also says that like the women that he's met didn't do adult content before they met him, and that his whole thing was making women like getting them into relationships and making them fall in love with him so that they could be part of this like weird, awful situation that he's making them be into. There's not too much of, like, a direct explanation. Though, I mean, he's been, like, there's been investigations for him for <coughs> trafficking people. And, um, because of his awful ego, just this awful monster ego that only such a rampant misogynistic man can have, he was got. Because global activists, like, because, uh, actually, because of his own pompousness, this man does this dumbass tweet, and he's like, oh my gosh, I have, like, 33 cars, this one has, like, 1.4 Q, Q, Q liters or some shit, it burns this much gas, and, like, he's like, here, uh, Greta Thunberg, give me your email, so I can send you the list of my other 33 cars, and tell you about how much I fucking hate the environment, basically. And she's like, oh, sure, feel free to email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. She got his ass so bad like look okay so one thing about the internet aside from like there, there's such this is like such a beautifully like this is like such a structured joke that has it would take eons to create and like just become this beautiful comedic timing punch now for so first of all it's like december 29th it is like the end of the year <coughs> and we know that like ever since 2020 the year has been hell we're still in a pandemic and you know misogynistic men like him have gotten such big notoriety and continue to plague the minds of men, both their, uh, like, already fully adult men and reinforce their misogynistic ways, or encourage young men to vilify women for just existing. But, 
the I, oh, it was like perfect comedic genius. So first of all, the internet will always love just the the playful bashfulness and like unseriousness basically of a D's nuts joke or something that's euphemistic to some degree. I am pissed though, however, because some people I saw this tweet and it was talking and it could have been such a good conversation because it was like, oh we need to stop vilifying like small dick energy because this has to like implications and it's still like body shaming and it's not and it had such a cute like it could have been such a good argument or like encouragement for respecting men to some degree and not vilifying men because of their like naturally given body part their member so to speak as the fanfic would put it but at the very end of it of that thread they were like that's why I don't like that Greta Thunberg said that. Shut the hell up. Do not give this awful man grace. Are we kidding? Like, we're giving this 40-year-old adult man, trafficker, monster of a man who, who, like, hates women and poor people and the environment, I guess, apparently, because he just so needed to, out of nowhere, bring forth the name and, like, include Greta Thunberg just because he hates the environment and he thinks he's so fucking cool with his cars that ruin the environment. Like, you, flaunting your wealth... Is what got you in this place aside from being like a terrible piece of and you know karma coming and getting you i don't really believe in karma but i'm grateful that it got his man's ass after his dumb rebuttal that took apparently 10 hours to the greta thunberg's clearing of getalife.com small dick energy like that whole thing he was like oh it's funny because i like because it was her who was it was her email to contact him obviously a joke email he was like oh it's nice that you admit you have a small dick and so that he starts the video smoking a cigar like he thinks he's such cool he thinks he's coming like it was a whole minute ass video i didn't watch the rest of it he thought he was so fucking cool in that video you know he's wearing that robe he's smoking at the very beginning of the video he thinks he's so fucking cool he's giving he wants to be his james bond so bad what a fucking loser and because of his i guess maybe he in his heatedness, in his fragile ego being shattered, he forgot, or maybe he wasn't even avoiding the fact that he had a pizza that gave away his geographical location in the screen of this video that was a rebuttal. I didn't listen to it because I don't care what that man has to say. Like, obviously, be serious. Be serious. I... And that was enough for the Romanian police to know that he was there. I guess they needed some kind of verification for him to be there. But I'm like, Greta Thunberg, first of all, climate activist warrior, saving the planet because this man is a monster. She saved this planet from, like, misogyny and, like, affecting the environment because of gas and, like, awful freaking car usage. Like, first of all, we need more public transportation because this is toll that individualistic society and cars has on this is ruining the environment. Obviously, we know that. Like, people know that. This man doesn't believe in climate change. This man is a misogynistic. He doesn't believe in women's rights. Doesn't believe women can drive. Like, this man sucks. Greta Thunberg came. She's saving the world, man. She's doing God's work. I love this woman. <coughs> I hate a lot of the mixed reactions because people are like, oh my God, free my man, Andrew Tate. And this... I need people to get rid of Aiden Ross, like, immediately. I hate this man. I don't know how... Like, there's... White men, obviously, we know this, we get way too much um, in society and are given too much grace for being like morons or playfully morons or just even just being generally average intelligence so long as they're like traditionally conventionally attractive. And I will admit, Aiden Ross is conventionally attractive, I guess. I hate that man. He is like a moron, let's be serious. Like, he's not smart. And so apparently sometimes he plays up like being dumb for comedic effect, which also is like, that's a weird thing to do, especially because I know he'd vilify a woman for being like a bimbo or something like that. <laughs> like, I know he probably thinks he's smarter than women. Let's be serious. But this man deifies, gobbles, choking on the back of his throat on Andrew Tate's, like, small dick energy at getalife.com. And he was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't, he, I'm going to put it on the screen. I don't know what the fuck he said, but he was, like, invoking, like, he, hey, Joe Biden, give him the pardon because we know Donald Trump would have. Like, I need you to shut the hell up. This can, you're, are we serious? There is a difference between, like, and this is the pro such a problem too. Stop giving men any grace because me have you met men? Men when they are rejected in the slightest become such awful, heinous monsters, such horrifying, violent creatures that it is like, I don't know why you would put it past anybody unless you were just your yourself a man who was disillusioned in the way that like the world works because <sighs> people are just like, oh my gosh, L. Tate, free him, so-and-so, and, like, people gave these people a benefit for the bout, like, Aiden Ross or Andrew Tate, that they're like, oh, this is just a bit, like, they're just saying these things, they're just being extremists, or, like, being par paradoxical, like, they're parodying, like, you know, they're just saying these things, this is inflammatory for attention, for fun, it's comedic, it's supposed to be, like, ironic, and it isn't, 
it isn't. These men are dumb. These men are terrible. And these people should not have platforms. Aiden Ross, like, what, what fixation would you have on a man like this? It's like the weird Elon Musk dick writing that t Mr. Beast does. Like, Mr. Beast seems cool and nice, but like, what is going on with that? Quit defying morons. I... Obviously, we go in this into this like every single time because influencers always seem to like not all of them, a lot of them it seem to end up just being like absolute morons who got somehow continued to continue to have like a platform despite being dumb and awful. But this is like there is like hierarchies of like bigotry, sexism, and like social unawareness and racial unawareness between these people, and I need it stopped. I'm glad Greta Thunberg cleared him. I don't know how the hell. I don't, I just don't get how people keep giving these people grace. I'm tired. I'm tired. Girl, like, be, I don't know. But thank you, Greta Thunberg. I saw this one tweet, dumb. I know it's so unrelated, but like Greta, Greta Gerwig, Greta Thunberg. Someone was like, oh my God, Greta cleared him. Like, I know that Barbie movie is going to eat. And I was like, girl, shut up. People are so funny. People are so funny on the internet. Oh, but there's, Twitter's a hellscape. I hope Twitter kind of stops eventually. Cause like, like, let's be honest. Elon Musk sucks. But we knew that. We knew that. You know how I feel about things, so... Yeah.